Hey guys, this is the University Survival Guide. I'm going to be telling you ways in which you can make university easy. Okay, so one of the first things that you need to do whilst you're at university is to be able to cook. So, I'm going to be giving you a quick lesson on how to cook at university. Okay, so one of the first things you need to do is to get something out of the freezer. So, here we go. So look, we've got some it seems seems legit seems legit doesn't it so next we need to use the microwave so let's just come over here okay so we open up the microwave like so we put the items we want in there keep it in the packaging because that is legit how you cook in this place and then, to, fi to finish off, we need to turn the knob to the amount of time we want it to. Okay, so the next thing you want to go and make is going to make some toast to go with those lovely cooked sausages that you are about to take out of the microwave. Two hours later. The second thing that you need to do at university is to make sure that your, your room is nice and tidy so that you don't have to keep on continuously clearing up a load of shit every time you come into the room because you'll be tripping over a load of stuff so yeah just for example as you can see my room is relatively tidy there's nothing on the floor apart from maybe a couple of wires for my phone charger my desk is relatively tidy and shelves arranged nicely also, uh, number three, on the subject of being clean and tidy, after you've cooked your food and you've um, used all your plates and stuff, it's customary to clean up afterwards so you don't have a load of clutter up stuff and that your roommates or flatmates don't uh, shout at you for leaving stuff out for maybe a week or so. Also, after pre-drinks, for example, there's probably a lot of glass around, you always have to put the glass in the glass bin to then take the glass out when the glass bins are full. Even though I'm a relatively tidy person, unfortunately, the rest of my flat don't exactly uh, know the meaning of the word clean. That's uh, some sort of beetroot thing that's been left out for ages. There's these dirty plates, some half-eaten brownie, uh, the hobs look disgusting. Look at the amount of washing that's in these plates and oh, I, I don't even want to know what's in there. Then you come over here, it's the ovens, also a complete fucking look at that. Just just look at that. That is disgusting. And then you just have a pile up in the sink, you can't even get at it anymore. Just all of this shit still out. Admittedly, a few of this is mine. But not, it, it's on a very small scale here. It's like that, that is my washing that I haven't done yet. And this is everybody else's. And on the subject of pre's, these were left out. And do you want to know how long these have been sitting here? Well, they had their pre's last week, about last Thursday. And it's now Monday. It's been out for a whole weekend and nobody has bothered to clean it up. I wasn't part of these pre's, so it's not my mess to clean up, but certain people have not been cleaning, which is not good. One other thing you must make sure you do at university is always attend all of your lectures, even the ones that are at 9 o'clock in the morning and you don't want to get up for them. Okay, so it's really late at night now, so i got to get some sleep for that early 9 o'clock lecture tomorrow. Night, guys. And finally, one last thing, make sure for your given degree course subject that you do all of your background reading and make sure you read throughout the year to make sure you've got a very in-depth level of the subject. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to do a sketch for that last one because let's be honest, nobody in my subject at least does any background reading whatsoever and it's really annoying when those lecturers at the end of the lecture just go, here's some background reading for you to do. I want you to be doing your background reading a lot so that you can get a really good in-depth level of subject so in your second year you can really do well. And everybody's just like, 
No. Just no. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like at the bottom of the page and uh, subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, I'll see you next time.